Um, the layout for the rest of the year is as follows, allegedly. I'll tell you. You have FC 306, O'Malley versus De Velashvili and Alexa Grasso defending her belt. 307, Salt Lake City, Tapuria Holloway and Pennington Pena. Disgusting. So Kayla's not getting a title shot. Kind of insane. Makashev to Saruki in two in Abu Dhabi, 308. 309, Jones Miocic and 310, McGregor Chandler in December. So that's the plan for the rest of the year. We'll see. Thank you for the $50, Daryl. Thoughts on the August 10th Spivak Tybura main event? Um, I don't know. Thank you for the one month of membership. I'm not sure. It's not a main event. Oh, it is a main event, isn't it? So they haven't added anything to that card. They've actually shifted that to the main event. Is that is that a joke? That's got to be a joke, right? Still not announced. There's still no main event locked in yet. But uh, right now they're looking at Tybura Spivak main event and Jano Erin's Yusuf Zalau co-main event. So, yeah, it's looking a bit rough, that card, to be honest with you guys. It might need a little bit of help, but um, it's all good. It's all good. Nothing like a good Tybura Spivak main event with an Erin's Zalau co-main event. Big Marcel confirmed it as main event. Oh, wait. okay, there you go. That's good. Oh, sup, G. Okay, thank you for the two New Zealand dollars. If Usman got very determined, he could win the belt. All right, then. He actually could beat Edwards in a potential quadrilogy. Like, I'm not going to doubt that. Like, he genuinely could. And he could probably beat Bilal, maybe, if Bilal gets the belt. But it's just, can Usman win consistently enough to get back to that position where he actually can get those fights? Overeem going to pull a Mike Tyson with his daughter. Thank you for the $5. What's impressive about Alex at light heavyweight is the 20-pound jump from middleweight. Not many guys is his size at middleweight, but a lot of guys the same size or bigger than Alex at light heavyweight. I don't think a lot of them are bigger than Alex at light heavyweight. I actually think Alex is one of the biggest light heavyweights, which is insane because he made middleweight. But um, I think he's one of the biggest light heavyweights. I thought Yuri looked small against him, and I didn't expect that at all. I actually think Yuri during training camp, yes or no chat, is building size. For light heavyweight. What do you think about that one, chat? I actually think Yiri out of camp is lighter than he is when he fights. I think. Not lighter, but maybe just the same size, but a bit more fat on him. You know what I mean? And I think during camp, he's like, okay, let's let's get 215 and then we make a simple cut and we fight in this weight class. But I think Yiri is naturally a much leaner person than Pereira is. You know what I'm saying? He was saying he can make 185. I mean, he used to be a 185er. Yuri was a 185er at Rising for a bit. Impression of some teens asking, Sup, Guru, when do you not call yourself a casual? Um, you, if, you, if you have to ask that question, you are. I'm sorry. Thank you for the $5. When you're not a casual, you'll know you're not. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. When you're up at night, Building imaginary cards on a Google document. You're not a casual. That's when I knew. When I snapped out of it, I was on my laptop once when I was younger. And I built an imaginary fight card in the future with like not even crazy matchups that are all good. Like intricately worth the money type matchups, trying to keep the card somewhat cheap, not too expensive. As soon as I was doing that, I knew it was it was over. The casual days were in the past. Hello, Guru. Hope you're well today. Just got here. What's up with Jones? Sorry. Thank you for the $2. Think Holland has batteries in his smoke detector? I would imagine no. You need to be aware of that. Um, uh, what? No, I'm, I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking, but still. It's not an L. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I shouldn't. How do you have a problem with that take? Jesus Christ. I try and have a funny thing and chat is just so serious to win an argument against me. It's so lame these days. Honestly, chat, yeah, has become such a middle-class group of fucking pussy. You know, it's so annoying. Like, I can't joke around with a take anymore. Or they get, they try and win an argument based on the intricacies of it. You know what I mean? I just thought it was a joke, but chat just repels it. Um, actually, that's chat these days, dude. I ain't even looking at you. I'm looking at Twitter for a bit. Um, actually, um, actually, actually, uh, that take doesn't hold true. And if you look at the effects it would have on society, that's not the benefit. 
fucking new chat members, dude. Fucking hate them. Check DMs or something. All right, I'll check chat again. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Ask Patty if Molly bursts into the room when he was having kids because she has to involve herself in every big moment for him. I'd love to like note down some fan questions. I don't know if that should be one. Um, do you ever get sick of Molly being? <laughs> Maybe that should be one. Maybe that should be a question. But that'll be at the end of the interview. Like, sort of chuck out a couple of fun ones. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll have to see what energy he's on. But he seems like he's cool with me from us messaging. I actually messaged him today saying, nice prank, bro. But, yeah. He sounded just like Paul McCartney. Yeah, he's... Yeah, that was the accent I was doing. I do impressions, bud. Impression of Polly one. I don't know. These are the only things I remember about Pimlet when he was in the chat. <laughs> Start off the interview asking him if he if he thinks he actually beat Jared Gordon. It's I, it's tough, yeah, because he's a week out of his fight. This is the thing, chat. This is the problem. I think if I was asking them questions to Paddy after a, after his win or just in the middle of like the year when he's not got a fight coming up, I would it would be a little different, you know. But he's literally fighting in a week and a half. I don't know if I should be poking him about Jared Gordon decision. I, I don't think I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? I know you just had twins, so I'll ask him about fatherhood, maybe. That'd be a good question. Just switched from Ursex gym to JDM's gym. Worst breakup of my life. You just switched from Ursex gym to JDM's gym? Damn, dude. In with the big dogs, huh? How close are they then? Are they? Did you move houses? Did you move to another st uh, part of Australia, or are they uh, in the same area? You could just go to both. Best of both worlds, dude. I'd stay at JDM's gym now. In chat, if Guru should... People should live lives based, like, imagining the fact that their kids are going to watch all of it. You should live a life. And I know I'm degenerate and I say weird things on a live stream, but you should live a life like your future kids are watching you. And I think we lost that a little bit in the West because people started thinking that they're not going to have kids and then they just rush and panic to have them at 30. Meanwhile, meanwhile they've lived a life under the impression they're not going to ever have kids keeping them responsible. Um, type impression of MMA Joey hating on Colby and Strickland. Um, you guys, um, Colby Covington is, um, he's mega. Mega's bad. I don't know, some shit like that. Watching your stream with Lad, already read it. Your new president or CEO of the UFC. In all seriousness, what would be your top three changes to the company to move it forward and add excitement? I would do 155, 165, 175. Dumb. I would do um, knees to grounded opponent legalized and I would legalize 12 to six elbow. We could put that under the same bracket. Third change. Don't need multiple ring girls. One will do. Um, what else would I do? Uh, I'm adding more than just three changes, by the way. Uh, fire Karen Bryant, fire Alan Joban, fire Anthony Smith, fire Rashad Evans, fire Kamaru Usman. I know, like, you know, diversity hires in that, but we can't just waste money on bullshit no one listens to anyway. So I'd scrap those, all of those ESPN analysts, and I'd pay the fighters with the money I would do. That's what I would do. They do need a good team of commentators. Yeah, I know, but they have, um, What's it called? They have the commentators for the UFC fights, but they just have these random people at the desk that no one gives a fuck about anyway. And they're probably paying them like 20K an event, 10K an event. You know what I mean? So you might as well just pay that to the fighters. Or just cut half of the people that do that shitty little job and then you can pay fighters a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Dude, I'm not doing this stupid impression, Miocic. It's too much to read. If you donate me more than a paragraph, I ain't fucking reading it. I'm sorry. That's the rules on Instagram. You donate me more than a paragraph at once, I'm not reading any of it, and I'm just going to leave it on red. I'm doing that with everyone now on Instagram. Um, UK is 80% gurus. You'll be all right for a while. It's not a... Thank you for the $50. This Nick Space guy uh. apparently lost everything. 
and can't tell his wife, just do it. Quiet, dude. Good Lord. This guy apparently lost everything and can't tell his wife, just do it. Quiet, dude. Good Lord. Yeah, I don't know, man. But thank you for the 50 bucks, I guess. I don't know what you're saying. I do apologize. I wish I could justify a response worth the value of the 50, but as far as I'm concerned, you're literally speaking in fucking riddles, to be honest with you, mate. I I don't know. Thank you for the $50. Appreciate it. Thank you for the $10, Arrow810. Um, I don't want to see Ilya versus Max at altitude. Ilya has a real shot to beat Max, giving a cardio guy an altitude advantage is so dumb. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. I think that's bullshit and favors Holloway too much. Fuck that. I agree. It's so dumb. Ilya will be low output and not throw power shots. Ruins the fight. I also think that it's hard to keep a breaking pace on altitude, though. I do agree. So it does benefit fast starters because people that lead the dance early can carry it a lot longer in altitude. than uh, There's less momentum shifts at altitude. One person gets it and keeps it or... The other person gets it and keeps it. There's not much this round. This guy's fresh. This round, that guy's fresh. So I don't know. It could be interesting. I'm not sure how to feel about it being at altitude yet. I'll have to look up some previous pace putters at altitude performances. Impression. Dana will say this improves his resume. I know. Nobody's got more charges than John Jones. Um, anyone got the name of the olden days bearded wrestler, uh, giant haystacks is his name. My parents actually agreed that I looked like him, looked like him the other day as well. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I know Jesse on fire's live stream, got 2.5 million views. Good for him. I saw it the other day. People have been sending me it saying, look, he's botting. But I'm like, no, he was literally like one of the first people to, uh, be live to the, uh, Donald Trump news. So good for him. So hyped for this stream. Dana going to say this boosts his ranking. True. Jesse on fire might have to pivot his content to full politics on that channel because the name Jesse on fire, it's not like it ties him to MMA anywhere. This might be his new uh, life on YouTube. Um, you see Jesse on fire became a political channel. Now he's blown up hundred K subs in 48 hours. I saw. We'll see. It could be a good pivot for him, dude. Messy kind or nah. I mean, it depends on their diet, I would suppose. He looks like you, Guru. Who do I look like? Mogging you in subs once again, like back in the day. Insane, dude. Good for him. He's going to have to become a political channel, but I mean, it's good. I don't know if the subs are going to watch all of his content moving forward, but it's definitely a big jump for him. That's what happens if you get that viral vid. Boom, 100K subs. I almost wish, I know this is going to sound like Cope, but you should actually not want that as a YouTube channel. I'll be honest with you. I know it's going to sound like Cope, but you want to gain subs that, are going to watch a lot of your content. If you get a viral clip and just gain like 50K subs from it, just out of habit of people just wanting to sub to a video they see, if it's not related to your content, they are useless subs and it will backfire on your algorithm. So I think Jesse should transition into a full-term or full-time political commentator. That would be my advice to him. Um, but yeah, he was becoming dead. He genuinely was. It was, he got, he got, it was like a phoenix from the ashes in uh, in terms of a YouTube channel, right? But um, good for him. I just think he needs to stick to politics now because he could still do MMA stuff, don't get me wrong. Maybe talk about fighters that are shouting out Trump. That could be his next video because there was a few fighters that mentioned Trump. But um, yeah, they just might not watch his MMA content and that backfires on a channel track the mma sphere is yours bro jesse on fire likely needs to pivot or he's likely going to lose he was on his he was on his deathbed of his channel so i'm actually happy for him because he has got a family and bills to pay so he's fucking reignited the life to his channel massively he capitalized on that trump shit massively you just gotta hope that trump get once a week until uh <laughs> until he can retire now that's that's what he's got <laughs> that's kind of what he's got to hope for you know what i'm saying that, that'd keep him afloat on you. <laughs> Otherwise, he's, he's going to really have to stretch that content. Who knows? Biden might get next. You never know, guys. America's crazy. Isn't it insane that you don't hear like... I know, obviously, Putin has been... People have tried to eliminate him, but you don't... You don't hear regularly that, that he avoided a shooting or there was a shooting at Putin or there was a shooting at this Chinese president, but 
In the US, they're just letting this fucking tard from Reddit get a clear from Trump. What is going on over there, dude? While these fucking fat middle-aged they're trying to protect him in the Secret Service. Like, America's fully a joke. I swear to God, the West is undergoing a humiliation ritual. Did you know Jesse on Fire was a millionaire before he did YouTube? Yeah, he was. He was a, uh, he's a millionaire. Yeah, he's a rich guy. He, uh, he had a uh, business on a TV show, didn't he? I can't remember the name of it, but he had his own TV show. And he was pitching an idea for a business or some shit like that. I can't even remember what it was, like a sports betting thing. Sold a company for like 50 mil, yeah. Jones missed. All right. Um, I could, um, impression of Aspinall commentating while bashing Ariel. You know what? I just want to say, open and loud. The Ariel Huani is an absolute shill. Right. Opinion on 306 only having 10 fights. It only needs 10 fights. Motherfucker. What the fuck? He went from 170 to 280k. That's crazy. It was all for one video and one stream of reacting to the Trump thing, which was huge.